Hi guys, welcome back to Mathematics Form 3 KSSM. So today we continue part 2 uh, on chapter 5 trigonometric ratios. You can refer to your textbook on page 119. Okay, the first part determine the values of sine, cosine, and tangent of 30 degrees, 45 degrees, and 60 degrees angles without using a calculator. Normally, we just uh, use calculator to calculate the uh, value of uh, trigonometric ratios. But today, we want to discuss how can we determine the value of trigonometric ratios without using a calculator. Okay, now let's assume we have an uh, equilateral triangle here, P. SR. What is equilateral? Equilateral triangle means all sides are same length. So this is the diagram. You can refer to this diagram. Okay. So PSR is an equilateral triangle. So you can see a uh, side PS two units, SR two units, and PR also two units. We draw lines, perpendicular lines. To, to join S and Q. So we have line SQ. So Q is the midpoint for PR. So meaning PQ is one unit, QR is one unit. So for equilateral triangle, angle of each point P, S and R all are the same. That is equals to 60. Total angle 180. Eh? So here's 60, 60, 60. So angle PSR is divided to 2 equally. So meaning QSR is equivalent to 30 degrees. Let's say we take out half of the triangle PSR that is QSR. So you can see here QSR. So I, we draw it here. It become diagram 1B. Yeah? So the size of the side qr is one unit sr is two unit by using pythagoras theorem we determine what is sq or qs so from here qs equivalent to square root of two squared minus one squared so meaning square root of four minus one so it becomes square root of three or we call it set three so qs equals to set three Okay, so from here we have dimension uh, for each side. Uh, panjang setiap sisi semua sudah ada. Okay, uh, so now we want to find the value uh, of sine 30 and sine 60. And also same thing, cos and tangent. Let's look at for sine 30. Sine 30 is angle QSR. So for angle QSR, sine 30 equivalent to, remember the formula Sokator, so opposite divide by hypotenuse. So hypotenuse is this one. SR is hypotenuse. So opposite divide by hypotenuse. So we get 1 divided by 2. So we have the first value. Sine 30 is 1 divided by 2. Okay, how about cos 30? Eh? Cos 30. So cos 30 here, adjacent divided by hypotenuse. So we get cos 30, set 3 divided by 2. For tangent 30, toa opposite adjacent. So we have 1 divided by set 3. So meaning from this triangle, we can get the value of trigonometric ratios. No need to use calculator. Okay, now get for the angle 60, uh, QRS. So for angle 60 uh, or angle QRS, sine 60 opposite divide by hypotenuse. So set 3 divide by 2. So we get this value. For cos 60, adjacent divide by hypotenuse. So 1 divide by 2. For tangent 60, toa opposite divided by adjacent. Set 3 divided by 1, so equivalent to set 3. So meaning from this triangle, we can get the value of trigonometric ratios for angle 30 and 60. Okay, now we want to look at for angle 45 degrees. Let's assume we have one triangle, right angle triangle, KLM, and this one is isosceles triangle. 
meaning two sides of the triangle are same length. For example, we have KL and LM, uh, same length. So we have the, the size is one unit and here also one unit. So by using Pythagoras theorem, you calculate what is KM. So KM equals to square root of 1 squared plus 1 squared. So square root of 2. So we have here KM is square root of 2. Okay, now, because of this is isosceles uh, triangle, so angle here and angle here must be the same. So here is 90 degrees, meaning angle here is 45, angle here is also 45. Okay, now we want to find what is sine 45 degrees, cos 45 degrees, and tangent 45 degrees. Okay, from here, sine 45 opposite divide by hypotenuse, so meaning 1 divide by 2. Cos 45 adjacent divide by hypotenuse, 1 divided set 2. Tangent, tangent to opposite adjacent, 1 divided by 1, that is 1. So meaning by using these two triangle, so we can get the value of trigonometric ratios without using calculator. So we are going to use this value in order to solve problem eh, involving uh, this type of question. That is without using a calculator. Find the value of sine, cosine and tangent. Okay. Look at one example, the first question. Calculate the following values without using a calculator. So you, you must use the value that we discussed before. You cannot straightly use calculator and find the answer. Of course, you can get the answer, but you cannot get full marks eh, if you don't follow the instruction. Instruction without using calculator. You get part A, eh, sine 45 plus cos 45. Okay, sine 45 just now is 1 divided by set 2. Cos 45 is also 1 divided by set 2. So it become what? 2 divided by set 2. Okay, now we always simplify so that we have the final answer in simplest form. So normally the set, uh, the 2 divided by set 2, we try to simplify, multiply with set 2 uh, above and below. Okay, so what happened? We can uh, get 2 set 2 divided by 2, so we can cancel 2, so we get just set 2. So this is the simplest form uh, answer. So you can leave your answer in this form. Okay, so this one we call it without using calculator to find the answer. Okay, part B, uh, 3 cos 30 minus 2 sin 60. So we have cos 30, 3 times set 3 divided by 2. So we have the table just now, uh, you can refer to the table. Minus 2 sine 60, uh, set 3 divided by 2 also. So we have 3 set 3 minus 2 set 3 divided by 2. So we get set 3 divided by 2. So meaning the step here, you must be careful. Uh, so this one using the mathematical operation to solve it. So you have the, the answer in this form. So this is the simplest form ready. So you can leave your answer like this. Okay, but C, 2 tangent 45 degrees minus 2 cos 60 degrees. So, tangent 45 is 1, cos 60 is 1 uh, divided by 2. So, we have 2 times 1 minus 2 times 1 over 2. So, 2 minus 1, answer is 1. Okay. Okay, look at part D. 2 sin 60 times 4 cos 30 minus 4 tangent 60. So you have the table like this, you can, if you can uh, memorize or you can derive again uh, the value. So I think this one is not so hard for you. Just uh, the mathematical operation, sometimes uh, many students uh, uh, get confused or careless mistake. So make sure you look at the, the, uh, the question given carefully and substitute all the values uh, correctly. Okay, 2 sine 60, eh? sine sin 60, eh? you can for, uh, refer to the table here, is set, two, set 3 divided by 2. Okay, 4 cos 30, eh? cos 30, 
cos 30 is 3 divided by 2 minus 4 tangent 60. Tangent 60 is 3. Okay. So you simplify this one. You have, must do the operational, uh, mathemat uh, mathematical uh, operational this here from here. So 2, 2 cancel. 2, 4 also can be simplified. So finally you get 6 minus 4, so 3. So you can leave your final answer in this form because you, you are not allowed to use calculator for this part. Okay, uh, This one cannot be simplified anymore. Eh? Okay, part E, 3 tangent 30, 4 sine 60 plus 4 sine 45. So tangent 30 from this uh, table is 1 over 3 sine 60 equivalent to 3 divided by 2 sine 45, 1 over 2. Okay, so meaning uh, simplify here. Okay, mathematical operation, the 3 here can be cancelled. So we get 6 divided by 1 plus... 4 over set 2. 4 over set 2, we can simplify by multiply above and below by set 2. Eh? Set 2 times set, set 2, it becomes set 2 times 4 or set 4. Set 4 equals to 2. Okay, uh, so we can get uh, 4 set 2 divided by 2 equivalent to 2 set 2. So 6 plus 2 set 2. So this is your answer, eh? final answer. Cannot be simplified anymore. Don't use calculator and find the value. No need. Eh? For this one, this one, the instruction is cannot use calculator. So, we can conclude that you must know this one. What is a value of uh, trigonometric ratios for 30 degrees, 60 degrees, and 45 degrees. Okay, now, sometimes the answer, they want you to write in the unit of Degrees, sometimes they want you to write in the unit of minutes, seconds. That is, we know that 1 degree is equivalent to 60 min minutes. Eh? 1 minute equivalent to 60 seconds. So you can look at the symbol. Eh? 1 prime equivalent to 60 prime prime. Meaning 1 uh, minute equals to 60 seconds. Okay, look at the example here, A. Eh? Convert 30.2 degrees to degrees and minutes. Okay, so 30.2 degrees equivalent to 30 degrees plus 0 0.2 degrees. So 0 0.2 degrees, how to convert to minute? Remember, 1 degree is equivalent to 60 minute. So you just multiply 0 0.2 times 60, so you get 12 minute. So you can write your answer as 30 degrees 12 minute. Okay, B, yeah. Convert angle for 30 degrees, degrees eh, 30 minutes to degrees. Okay, So 40 degrees, 30 minutes. So 30 minutes, how to convert to degrees? Remember, eh, 1 degrees equals to 60 minutes. So you want to convert minute to degrees. So what you do, you just divide by 60. So 30 divided by 60. So you get 0 0.5 degrees. So 43.5 degrees. So sometimes they want you to stay in degrees and minutes. Sometimes from minute they want you to write in degrees. Okay. So you must uh, remember how uh, we change the unit. Okay. Now determine the values of sine, cosine and tangent. Use a scientific calculator to determine the following values correct to four decimal places. Now, uh, you must know how to use your calculator. Okay, let's say the first one, sine 45 degrees 6 minute. Okay, how we get sine 45 degrees 6 minute equivalent to 0 0.7083. You can refer to your calculator. First, you press on the button sign and then you type 45 degrees eh? 45 degrees and then 6 minute okay so we get 0 0.7083 so 4 decimal meaning 0 0.7083 okay uh, B cos 20.7 so cos 20.7 the direct this one is quite easy okay so equals to 0 0.9354 4 decimal Okay, tangent 64 minute to uh, us degrees 12 minute so just uh, uh, press on the button tangent 64 
degrees and then you press on the button minute 12 minutes so you get 2.0685 you round off eh? so you get 2.0686 okay okay now how do you calculate the size of angle by using trigonometric ratio sine cosine and tangent okay so the value of trigonometric ratio given now use calculator to determine angle so the reverse process ah, eh? process yang terbalik dari tadi. Okay, use a scientific calculator to calculate following x values. Eh? For example, given sines x equivalent to 0 0.8377. So how we, we solve this problem? There's a button, we call it arc sign. Eh? Arc sign. You, you just press on the button shift, then sign eh? to get the angle. So sine x 0 0.8377, then x equivalent to? Shift sign 0 0.8377. So you just tekan, uh, you tekan kan shift dulu, then sign, then you tekan kan uh, value yang diberi tu. So you will get the value that is 56.89980 uh, degrees. Okay, let's say you want to convert uh, your answer or they want you to write in. Uh, Final answer in minutes, degrees and minutes. So what you do, you convert 0 0.8980 to minutes. Okay. So we have second or so, uh, the last part. Okay. So answer is 56 degrees, 54 minutes. Okay. Actually, we get this value. So we just round off. Uh. 52.93 degrees is more than 30. Uh, more than half of 1 minute so we just add 1 eh, 253 so it become 56 degrees 54 minute so that one is the answer in degrees and minute remember eh, if the unit of second is 30 second or more minute unit will be added by 1 okay this is how we do it eh? just now we get the, from the calculator 56 degrees 53 minute 52.93 second so, 52.93 seconds is more than 30 seconds. So, we just add here. This is round off huh, to the nearest minute. So, you write your answer. 56 degrees, 54 minutes. Okay. Uh, same thing you do for the rest of the question. So, you can try and see for cos x, 0 0.7021. Uh, for tangent x, 2.4876. Uh, try and see. Okay, use your calculator because uh, some students they don't know how to use a cal calculator, so you cannot solve the problem. Try and see whether you get or not the answer. Okay, for part E, how do you solve problems involving sine, cosine, and tangent? So the last part will be a bit challenging because you are going to use all the techniques eh, you have discussed before in order to solve problem involving trigonometric ratios. Look at the first question. The diagram on the right shows a ladder leaning against a wall. It forms a right angle triangle PQR. If the height QR is 2.5 QR, eh, 2.5 meter, calculate length of the ladder PR in meters. State the answer correct to two decimal places. Okay, so angle given here, 50 degrees. This is a right angle triangle. You can see PQR eh, is right angle, 90 degrees here. So meaning PR is hypotenuse. Okay, given, given QR, 2.5 meter. Okay, now we are going to use the unit. We are going to use sine eh, because we want to find H, eh, hypotenuse, given its opposite. Okay, so we have opposite and want to find hypotenuse, so we choose sine. So sine 50 equivalent to QR divided by PR. QR is 2.5, so you can find what is PR. So PR equivalent to 2.5 divided by sine 50. So PR equivalent to 3.26 meter, two decimal places. Okay. Okay, number two. Diagram on the right shows cuboid, eh? A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H. It is given that B, C, 8 cm, C, H, 5 cm, height H, E, 4 cm. If right angle triangle F, G, C is formed in this cuboid, calculate value of F, C, G. F, 
CG, this angle. Okay? So tangent FCG, tangent FCG, this is a right angle triangle. Tangent FCG is FG divided by CG. Okay, uh, this is angle FCG. Uh, so this is the opposite, this is the adjacent. FC is hypotenuse. Okay, so given FG equals to EH. FG equals to EH, meaning FG is 4 cm. Okay, now we refer to the angle to the triangle GBC. This triangle GBC, and angle here is also 90 degrees, meaning this is right angle triangle. So we draw again, it becomes like this GB, eh? GB is 5 cm, same as HC, BC 8 cm. Okay, so meaning from here, we can calculate what is GC or CG. Yeah? So CG equivalent to, from the Pythagoras theorem, BC squared plus BG squared. BC squared plus BG squared. So we get square root of 89. So meaning the value of CG is 89. Okay, so we can draw again for the G, uh, triangle FGC. FGC, we draw out so that we can see clearly. So GC just now is 89, FG is 4CM. Okay, we want to find what is uh, value of FCG. Yeah? So value of FCG, here we have opposite and we have adjacent. So meaning TOA, so we use tangent. Tangent FCG equivalent to opposite 4 divided by adjacent 89. So 4 divided by 89. So use calculator to calculate the value. So shift 10. 4 divided by 89. So we get FCG equivalent to 22.98 uh, degrees. So you want to convert to minute a second. 22.98 uh, degrees so 0.98 times 60 minutes so you get 59 minutes so you can write the answer as 22 degrees 59 minutes okay third example a foldable ladder which is placed on the floor forms an isosceles triangle PQR given that T is midpoint PQR is 38 PR is 1.4 meter. Calculate the length of PR correct to two decimal places. Remember, eh, when they give you information, you try to mark eh, on the diagram. So isosceles meaning PQ equals to QR, same length. T is midpoint meaning PT equals to TR. So 1.4 divided by 2. And angle here also 38 divided by 2. Okay, because this one is isocell, same length, eh, both sides. And then uh, T also is midpoint. So solution, PT equivalent to 1.4 divided by 2, 0 0.7 centimeter. Angle PQT, PQT is 38 divided by 2, get 19 degrees. Then we use the formula sine PQT, meaning we refer to the triangle PQT. Eh, triangle PQT. So we get... PT divided by PQ, okay, this angle, huh? sine, huh? opposite divided by hypotenuse, so PT divided by PQ. Just now PT we get 0 0.7, so sine 90 degrees equivalent to 0 0.7 divided by PQ, thus we get PQ equivalent to 0 0.7 divided by sine 19. So equivalent to 2.15 centimeter. So this is the answer already in two decimal places. So this is how we, we solve the problem. So don't get uh, uh, <coughs> confused or get so scared huh, to look at the diagram. Maybe it looks like complicated, but once you get the idea how to solve it, I think this one is quite easy. Okay, that's the end of this uh, topic or chapter 5. You go and do more exercise on this topic so that you are familiar with all the values of trigon trigonometric ratios. 
do subscribe for more videos thank you